friends and family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? It is, uh, it's another day. It's a beautiful one. I've been wearing this shirt for several days. It's Shout out to my folks. It's what? It's June something. June something. I know what's going on here, usually, some of the time. Noah, for the first time in what seems like a long time, actually asked to film video today. And I was like, well, <laughs> we better do it. This is unprecedented. I think he's feeling bad for me because last night I had a bit of a temper tantrum because the boys didn't want to spend the last waking hours of daylight going on a bike ride with me. And I took it very personally. Stormed off like a little girl. Hey, Noah. What? What do you know? I know. What about sharks? That I'm holding one in my hand right now, and um, they have a very strong jaw strength. Well, most of them do. Some have poisonous spikes, only some. The great white sharks, probably like the biggest and most powerful today. And there's great white sharks, lemon sharks, whale sharks. There's also some tiger sharks, leopard sharks, blue sharks, Greenland sharks, and basking sharks. Those are pretty much all the kinds I know. Some have sharp teeth, like this one, and some don't. Some are use their defense too well, like the dogfish. Or the dog the it uses its spikes to spike predators, and there are a lot of different colors. Tiger sharks pretty much get their names from the stripes on them. I'm pretty sure whale sharks are called whale sharks because they're like sharks the size of a whale. And that's all I know. No, I want my shark. I got it first. But I found, but no, I did. No, I, I just found it right here, then grabbed it. Hey, Eli. Mm. What you working on? What you drawing? A shark, but it's not a good shark. If you guys didn't know, Eli is actually our resident artist. He's uh, he's better at art than I think anybody else in the family at this point. Uh, what do you know? I know. Fish. What about fish? That they're small and they live in the ocean and they watch out for sharks because sharks eat fish and sardines too. Wait, do sharks eat sardines? <laughs> Maybe. And shark. Okay, that's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> Chicken life back there. Uh, so. I don't know, there, today it has literally no theme. We're gonna go down to the snake room and we're going to check out uh, some of the snakes that have shed out, which there are a few. And today is actually a very exciting day for Noah. He's going to hang out with his cousin for the first time since all the corona stuff started happening, so in months. And they're very close in age. They've lived right down the street from each other, but they have not seen each other. My, my uncle has been taking the the quarantine proceedings quite seriously, probably more serious than anybody else I know. So yeah, we haven't seen them at all. Uh, so we're gonna hang out at the beach today with them. At least we're supposed to, unless somebody gets cold feet. But that's the plan. So um, I'm pretty excited about that for Noah because he's been missing his cousin like crazy. So it should be fun. But uh, snake time. Snake is big, Nikki. Ah. The first snake that had a shed here today, this is, uh, we don't have actually have a name for this snake yet, but this is an Enchi Lesser Poshat Sunset female, and there we go. Come on, focus on the snake camera. You know you want to. <laughs> what are you doing back there, T? You saying hi? <laughs> well, there's not much to say about it. It's a beautiful snake. En Enchi Lesser is actually one of my favorite combos, and as I mentioned, we don't have a name for this snake yet, but she's staying here. She's got this cool little paradox spot that she's always had, and still has, right there on her side. Ding, ding, ding. Pretty cool. You like this snake, E.T.? Yeah. Yeah? We watched The Little Mermaid as a family for the first time uh, a little while ago, 
And I grew up watching Little Mermaid as well with two younger sisters. That there was a, I think it was 1989. That movie was playing in our house every day for like a year straight. Now, if you guys watched the video when Dave Kaufman came here and we did a little segment, there was like, it wasn't a segment, we just broke it randomly into part of your world. <laughs> and that's how I know that song so well. Hey, Leah, what do you know? Who's doing that? Somebody's playing piano upstairs. Want to try one more time? Hey, Leah, what do you know? I know. A unicorn? Yeah. What about unicorns? That they're hard. They're hard? Yeah. Unicorns are hard? That's not how I thought of unicorns, but I guess uh, their horns definitely hard. What else about unicorns? Their tails. They have tails? Yeah. Yeah? And their foot. It's corny. Look, 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 guys. Yeah. Snakey's going. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> he really likes it. Hi, Nicky. Do you want to hold him? No, thank you. You hold She still hasn't really wanted to hold a snake too much. But it's okay. We'll give her time. Time, time, time. He doesn't find me anymore. Nope. Also, a fresh shed on midnight here. Our female indigo snake looking quite fantastic i might say <laughs> indigo snakes are so cool man focus is not there we go <laughs> go go snake go they're so active and awesome and look, ooh, look at the rainbow shine on that skin mm. Mm. that's niceness right there oh, oh where are you going <clears throat> That's right, it's back. The complaining corner. So today I'm gonna to complain about people who bang on the piano like it's a drum. Cause it, though a piano is technically, technically a percussion instrument, you don't bang on it like a drum. Uh, you treat it with respect. So, solution stool. There's no solution from this stool. We gotta go upstairs. Hello, Noah. Are you going to keep coming? So I heard you banging on that piano pretty hard. Just doing this. Mm. No, I heard some full... I know what piano notes sound like, boy. I heard some full palm smashes into this piano no, from just downstairs. It. That. Yeah, that. No. No, that's not how you treat a piano. Do you know what piano means? Uh, no. Piano means soft. I didn't know that. It's true. Go ahead, look it up. Coming along rather nicely, my friend. Wait. Keep it up. Oh, um, breakfast. Bro. Mm. Wait, where's Daddy's plate at? I don't know. Are you gonna change your shirt today? <laughs> I was considering it. Maybe. I like this shirt. Oh yeah. Shout out to Canadian Mouse Man out there. I'm gonna put a link down in the description for all his stuff. And this this shirt is just sweet. I really, I really do like this shirt. That's why I've been wearing it for so many days in a row. Isn't it a cool shirt? I mean, it's got this like half sleeve thing going on, which is just different. Not many things have that going on. I just like it. It's a good shirt. He's a cool guy. <laughs> Didn't we talk about this first thing in the morning, camera in the face? We could talk about it on our new podcast. Who's going to be my model for Cinematic Snake Saturday today? Um, nothing! You? Alright. It's just kind of a nice place to sit and talk about stuff. Yeah, Hillary and I have been thinking about podcasts. Yeah, she's over there watering plants looking at me like, What are you doing? You talking about me right now? You talking about me over there, Cusco? What you got going on over there? Yeah, I'm talking about you. We're, talk we're talking about starting a podcast. We were talking about it last night. Momo! What? Wanna come sit next to me and talk to me about this a minute? 
The podcast? I was just discussing the idea of the podcast mm-hmm. and whether or not we should do it, whether or not people would even watch it. You mean listen? Listen, watch. watch. We'd, probably, we'd probably do video, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, YouTube is a kind of a thing. I guess so. Um, yeah, I feel like when I start thinking about it, I just, I'm like, what's our theme going to be? What's our, our target audience? What are we going to tell? You know, I think I just maybe am overthinking those parts of it. I don't think it's wrong to think about those parts of it. We've only been talking about it for like 12 hours. We're not talking about it, but 12 hours ago is when we even right. brought the idea up. So, I mean, I right. think, I just feel like it'd be a fun thing for us to do. That'd be number one, is that I think it would be fun. Number two, I think it'd be awesome to set aside a time for just the two of us to sit and talk for an extended period of time without being interrupted every 15 seconds. No, <laughs> no, you, you jerk. <laughs> and because the two of us can get into some pretty heated debates sometimes that I think mm. would be interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're, we definitely have our differences. <laughs> and I'm always right. And we can uh, figure out that on the podcast. And we'll get <laughs> Maybe we can give a taste of to everybody else about what it's like to argue with you. It's not fun. Might not I'll tell be good you what. For your, your ratings. <laughs> talking about. It's gonna be great for my ratings. Huh, Tuku? Oh, taste piece. Is it gonna be good for my ratings, Tuku? No comment. I get it. Might have to eat your foot for dinner tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Cinematic Snake Saturday, that's what time it is. card at home shouldn't have pulled the footage so soon but uh we're at the beach i i gotta show you guys this hey dave kaufman this one's for you starfish piles of baby sand crabs look at this absolutely nuts i've never seen so many sand crabs just piled up together like this like they could bury down to the, bury down in the sand but they're just ugh, ugh, they're everywhere it's just ridiculous they're not dead either. I thought they were dead at first and I whip my hand through them and it's like, no, they are alive, very alive. <laughs> this is definitely the craziest beach. Day. It's literally hotter down here in Morro Bay than it is in Atascadero right now. This is un unprecedented, unprecedented summertime. We've been here a couple times like this. Yeah? But it's not very Can't really hear you, it's kind of quiet. I said I've been here a couple times when it's been like this and it's amazing. I forgot to mention, I wanted to mention that that was Noah's choice to hold Sangria for Cinematic Snake Saturday and he's got a long history with Sangria. Here's a picture of Noah right here holding Sangria back in the day. Cool, huh? Well, I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend and uh, please take care of yourselves, take care of each other. We will see you folks on Monday. <laughs> <laughs>